another beautiful day. Kind of cloudy, but it's warmer at least. I don't even really need this. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's a good day to finish those Christmas lights. So I got all the way around the house, except this corner here it ends right there. See that behind all the wires? We've got lots of wires in this yard. These are just cable for like cable internet and TV and stuff. I gotta go around that side there yet. So we got a little bit of work to do today yet, but at least the weather is agreeing with us. How's everybody doing? Where's everybody? Where's everybody? The two little guys over there. The Chevy right here. There's Weasel. Weasel? Oh, there he is. Oh, he left a present. Okay. Okay, we'll just let him do his thing there. Hey, Diesel. Look at this little ball of fluff over here. It's just a big ball of fluff. So we've got a little bit of heavy hearts in the family today. Uh, my grandpa's test results came back and they came back positive. He has COVID-19. He's pushing 90 years old. He's around 90 years old. He's, uh, he's still pretty healthy for a guy at that age. Uh, he's doing stable right now. But he does have a couple of, you know, few underlying health issues. So if they do, if if it does get worse and he were to need an ice an ICU and a ventilator, they can't do that for him because of his other health issues. So he isn't able to go to the ICU if it gets worse. Right now they have him stable, but uh, it doesn't look good for if it starts to get bad and he starts deteriorating. So. Just ask that you guys keep him in your prayers and keep us in your prayers. My mom is his uh, caregiver. She was with him right when uh, he went into the ambulance uh, to go home. I mean, well, at his home uh, when he went to the hospital. And we just got the news now saying that his test came back positive and that uh, there's not much they can do if he starts deteriorating. So. There's a very good chance he'll be fine, that he'll get through this, um, as long as things don't get worse. So that's that's the news on Grandpa. Getting very close to home, and Mom is also isolating as well now, and uh, watching for symptoms. It's a crazy world, man. It's crazy, so... We're gonna try and have a good day, but we're also gonna remember that there are a lot of people just down the street at the hospital not having such a good day including grandpa and of course he's there all by himself no one's allowed to go visit him i can't imagine how difficult that must be for his kids and my mom he's our last grandparent and uh my grandma passed away a few years back uh, just after christmas that was mom's mom and this is my mom's dad and uh you know she can't even go and see him no one can He's there all by himself. And uh, the doctors are just stretched thin. The nurses are stretched thin. Our country, or our, our town here is still the hot spot of the country. So we're still on lockdown. A lot of people getting sick. Everybody seems to know somebody. Everybody's got somebody who's sick right now. It's crazy, man. You know, I used to have a much different opinion. <laughs> I used to be very skeptical and thought that I knew more than doctors who have studied this kind of stuff their entire lives and careers. And you know, there's a lot of people out there who know what they're talking about. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I've told you this before, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know what this is. All I can do is just listen to the people who do know what this is. Every adventure starts. Drive-thru's closed. Drive-thru's closed? They're closed. Oh no! They did not shut down Tim's. Let's go read what it says on their door. It's closed. It's completely closed. 
They must have had an outbreak here. Oh no! Okay, we're going to the other Tim's. We're all gonna die! Oh boy. I'm just gonna go read what it says on their door there so we know what's going on here. Huh, I wonder what happened. There's people inside there. I wonder if their system crashed? Maybe. The sign on the window there just says uh, they're open to serve you at the, the drive-thru. Drive I saw that from here. But that has been determined to be a lie. Hmm. Timmy, what are you doing? Could be that their system crashed or maybe their drive through box tacked out and they need a service repairman. Oh, they're asking for trouble though. People are going to be mad. It's funny how people think that they can go in though. Yeah, people keep trying to go in. Watch this guy, he's going to try to go in. Nope. Sorry, bud. I know, they, well, everyone's assuming since drive through is closed that you must have to go inside. It's upsetting that they don't even have a sign up. Like even just take a piece of paper, make a makeshift sign. Tell your customers what's going on. This must have just happened though, because there's still more people coming up beside me here. Yeah. And another guy just pulled in. I guess we're going to the other, uh, the other Tim's. I don't know what's going on, but if this is the end, I love you guys. It's been a good run. It's been a good run. It's been a good 31 years. Yeah. 32 for you. 32 years. Old man. He's old. So Britt was just saying that uh, when she worked at Tim's, this used to happen where the the chase system would crash so you couldn't pay with debit or credit you had to pay with cash well they're discouraging that right now so it could very well be something that simple that the chase system is, is down so they have to wait for someone to repair it or call in and get it fixed over the phone i don't know but timmy's is closed this is going to be front page news tomorrow tim hortons shuts down all panic ensues so this is a crisis not only are we dealing with this pandemic, Tim's shut down. This can't be good. We're about to go check out the other Tim's though. So if that one's still open, we're okay. And it was just, just that store. That's okay. <laughs> we're following like a parade of vehicles. All of those vehicles turning in, they were also at that Tim's. <laughs> Everybody. It's like a parade from that Tim Hortons to the next Tim Hortons. <laughs> oh, this guy too. That's funny. Please be open. I see people in the drive-thru. I see people in the drive-thru. Okay, that's a good sign. All right, we're at our backup, Timmy's. Oh, thank God. They're open, but they got a little bit of increased business, I see. It's okay, we can wait. It's worth it. I'll be 1891 at the window. Super duper. Okay, have a great day. So close. So well, close. He said something. Yes, he did. That's an improvement. Maybe we should come to this Tim's from now on. <laughs> Make the other Tim's our backup Tim's. Oh my. All right, so we've got the boys packed up here. We got our Timmy's. We're going on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, we hear that there's a dog park in Niverville, which is a small town in southeastern Manitoba. It's in Hanover still, so it's not too far away. I'm gonna go see, see what it's all about. And if there's no one else there, we're gonna let the boys uh, run around and stretch their legs a little bit and see if it's open. You guys wanna hear something that's very annoying and every local will get it? People who drive in the left lane all the way from Steinbach to Blumenort. One of my biggest pet peeves. Teenager, I we lived in the area here for a while from when I was 13 till I moved out when I was 18. 
and my family, my parents actually lived here uh, when I was born. I was born not here in this town, but we lived here. And then a year after that, we moved to St. Pierre. And then we moved to Blumenart. And then we moved back to Neverville. And then I moved out to Winnipeg. You guys moved a lot. I lived in one house. <laughs> but this is new. This was not here. They have a traffic light now. I forget, I forgot that I saw that on, on the news a while back. It made the news. It made the news. Neverville got a traffic light. Look at this. Here we go. This place has blown up exponentially, exponentially though. Like, mm -hmm. there are so many people here now. Yeah, a lot of city people moving out of the city to here. Because this, this town's a lot closer to the city than Steinbeck. Like Winnipeg. When we say the city, we mean Winnipeg. We know Steinbeck's a city, but it isn't really a city. <laughs> it's our town. I think my sisters went to school here for a while. Wow, this place has changed. Co-op got a, got a facelift also. Oh, they got new pumps. Country snacks, that's what it's called. Very fancy. Wow, way to go, Neverville. Way to go. Super duper. Neato. Neato, indeed. I'm gonna park in one of these parking spots here. Right here. So like I was saying, a lot of childhood memories here in Neverville. Uh, our church growing up was also based out of Neverville here. That lady's going in there without a mask. Oh, I thought she was walking in without a mask. I was like, whoa. <laughs> She's gonna get in trouble. Uh, yeah, a lot of, they have a country fair. I think it's called the N Neverville Old Time Country Fair. I think that's what it's called. Every year they have a, a fair in town here. This summer I'm guessing is probably gonna be canceled like every other fun event. Because 2021 is just going to be a sequel of 2020. That's what I'm thinking. This is where we used to have our family gatherings when I was a kid. Because our family's so big, we'd rent the arena. <laughs> Not the curling club, but the arena here. So this is the off leash dog park entrance. No parking here, babe. No parking? Go that way. Okay, well, we'll park over here then. <laughs> I'm a Chevy. I have special, special parking privileges. All right, boys, doesn't look like anyone else is here. Oh, look, there's agility stuff. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. What? So we're the only ones here, which is good because we didn't want our dogs mingling with other dogs and stuff during this whole surge. So we're the only ones here. Cool, you guys ready? Chevy is very excited, he's pumped. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. Chevy, you gonna be scared of all the agility things? Yep. All right, boys. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready? Excited. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Chevy, very cautious. <laughs> <laughs> lots to sniff, lots to sniff. So yeah, this is the dog park. Look at this. This they is got... fancy. I wonder if we can get Diesel to jump through this thing. Maybe. There's all kinds of agility stuff. Diesel, come here. Chevy, come here. Chevy, come here. Come here. Chevy, 
Come here. Uh-uh. Right here. Sit. Chevy. Okay. Come here. Chevy, come. Come. Over. Over. Chevy. Look. Chevy, come here. Come here. <laughs> Chevy. Chevy, come here. Chevy, come on, over, over, no here, 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 Chevy. Okay, come here. Over. Come on. Come on. Over. Here, I'll make it easier. There we go. Chevy, Chevy, come here. Oh, good boy. Okay, Chevy, you don't like the jumping that much. Maybe we can get him to go up this. Come up again, Diesel. Come here. Good boy. Good boys. Is that a pine needle on your nose or grass? Got it. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy, Chevy. Well, at least they can do that one. They've done a couple others. Give them some credit. They're just slow learners. Good. Now down. Good boy. Good boy. Come here again, Diesel. Do it again. Do it again. Up, 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 up. Now down. Good boy. Can you do the big one? Diesel. Diesel. Come here. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Come on. Oh, oh, almost. Come on. Come on. No, no, up here. Good try. You're trying. Try again. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Start over here. If you got a running start, you do it. Okay, Diesel. And you go up. Up, up. Whoo. Uh oh. Good boy. Whoa! Oh, Whoa, is that? It's okay, buddy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I trusted you. <laughs> that one's a little wobbly. Something wrong with that one. Go, Go for it, Chevy. Up. Oh, that one's broken anyway. Oh. Shoot. Is it? Yeah, there's some pieces underneath it that should be attached. Oh, yeah. Okay. So oh, good boy, Chev. Oh, is that good water? Was that good water? Refreshing? <laughs> Delightful, my thanks. Very, very nice. Any more? Are you good? You're good? Want some more water? There's some more in the bowl. You got more right there in your bowl. Look. I'm good. <laughs> good water, boy. Right? Yes, this is actually pretty cool. I wish Steinbach had something like this. Hint, hint. <laughs> hint, 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 hint. Not trying to hint or anything, Daddy but... Hints. So when I was a kid, this and this, these were the only buildings here. That's the arena. That's where the Niverville Clippers played. We played against them. I played for Landmark. But uh, we had our family gatherings in that building on my dad's side. Because there's, uh, well, you, you've you seen our family gatherings in the past, right? We have over 200 people in that family. My dad had 17 brothers and sisters in that family. This curling rink was here. Those apartments were not there. It was just an empty field. And this whole thing here is the high school, apparently. They moved the high school. The high school used to be uh, in the center of town. And now they built this out here. So that's all new. I've never seen that before. Looks like it's still being built. There's still construction crews here. So lots has changed since I've been in this town. It's looking great. You've been doing a good job, Neverville. I think they're ready to go. They're going to the gate and telling us it's time. You guys ready to go? Yeah, I think they're getting tired. Yeah. Okay. That's our hint. Just grab the water in the bowl and we'll be on our way. So if you are in southeast Manitoba, there's a nice dog park in Neverville behind the arena beside the curling club. A little hidden away back here. That's a little hidden gem. It really is. I think we'll come back. Absolutely. Alright boys, come here. Come here. 
Up you go. It's time to go. Just in time, someone else came with their dogs. <laughs> All right, that was fun. They know exactly where they're going. <laughs> there they go. You know what, buddy? After the world is in a better spot, we'll you let can you- You make lots of friends. Yeah, we'll let you make friends then, okay? Right now is just not a good time. That At was... least you have your brother now. Yeah. Remember when we just had the two littles? He always seemed so out of place, so lonely. Yeah. This yeah. outdoor rink was not here last time I was here either. That is awesome. Right I am impressed with Neverville. It used to be just, you know, just like a little village, little town, nothing special. But now this is like, everything is really nice here. Yeah. This is where, uh, I've told you guys in the vlog several times that when I took my driver's test, I was in a gravel parking lot and I didn't put my signal on to leave my parking spot in the gravel parking lot. I got points against me for that. That was this parking lot right here in front of us. This is the culprit. I was parked close to that pole right there. This is where I took my driver's test uh, when I was 16, so my, just my regular license. And I did not signal when I turned left to go out the driveway in a gravel parking lot. I got five points against me for that. You have to signal even in parking lots, even in gravel parking lots, apparently. Coming up to the intersection, 59311. They put up traffic lights here and there was still an accident by the looks of it. I hope that school bus wasn't involved. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, this pickup's gonna wanna come in front of us here. Oh, I'm... Why did it take him so long to realize it? <laughs> he was mesmerized by all the shiny lights. I guess so, yeah. Oh, there's a school bus right there. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad one. It wasn't the school bus. That just happened. Yikes. Fire departments are just getting there. Oh, everybody's going to go and take a look at it. Or Don't cause another accident, yeah, exactly. people. Oh, they wanted to turn, turn around. left. Yeah. Now that road's closed, they still can't go that way. They're gonna have to go on the gravel roads. Oh, people. Oh, there's, there's gravel roads, the grid roads, every, every mile road, just go around on the gravel. Yay. Gravel scares city people. Yeah. Oh, they got the, they got the uh, highway shut down over here, or this is just another mountain coming. So the school bus wasn't involved. It was probably just a witness. It probably just happened right in front of that driver. Uh, there was a uh, car who hit the back end of a box truck, just a tandem truck without a trailer, and uh, went underneath it, and it looked like the bumper went right into the passenger seat by the looks of it, like through the windshield. Oh, I hope nobody was sitting there, but I hope the driver learned a very valuable lesson. Watch what you're doing and slow down. Yeah, I don't know. One of them must have run the red, because there's traffic lights there. Yeah. Here comes another Mountie. Oh, it's an ambulance. Not a Mountie. It's nice to see that a lot of people are actually following the laws though and pulling over. Usually you just see all kinds of people not caring and just flying past you anyways and trying to beat the ambulance and oh. Yeah, well, a lot of times. Or they just don't even notice the flashing lights in their mirror and they just, they don't get out of the way. Those are the people that cause accidents because they're not aware of their surroundings. Yeah. I saw the guy behind me wanted to blow past me but he had a, a moment of conscience just before then and pulled it onto the shoulder behind me. I was watching him too. <laughs> he would have got you on film, buddy. Yeah, he just about made it onto YouTube. <laughs> it's a nice Cadillac too. That's actually the intersection where my opa, my dad's dad, died. He was uh, T-boned or rear-ended. Bad accident anyways in uh, 93, I believe, 1993 and he died at that intersection. That was long before they put up those traffic lights. And apparently those traffic lights still aren't preventing every accident. These people aren't paying attention. But then again, we don't know what happened. Maybe there was some explanation, but. There's always someone at fault though. But what I find funny is when people are at fault, they still try to blame it on someone else. We live in a society where people do not take responsibility and always look to blame others for anything in their path. 
And there's another one coming. Is Cadillac gonna blow past us this time too? No, he's following your lead. Oh, that guy there. Uh, like we were saying before, people don't look behind them. He saw him at the last moment that he was flying up behind him and he slammed on the brakes. <gasps> I understand the instinct to want to just slam on the brakes when you see emergency lights in your rear view mirror, but not exactly the best decision. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got a little bit of a snowfall, okay? Diesel, you coming out too? It's gonna be a little bit snowy out there, okay? We just had a bunch of snowfall this evening while I was live streaming. Let's go out here. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go this way. Britt and I get so excited when we see snow. I love snow. I just don't like it on the road. When it's actually on the road surface. But everywhere else, it makes everything look so clean and fresh, you know? You done there, little wiener? No, you want to go back in? Oh, dear. All right, there you go. Don't go on my side of the bed. I know he's going to jump right on my pillow, I bet. Yeah, we get really excited. I wonder. Christmas lights are up there. Looking good, looking good. I haven't gotten any more done. I got... I'll have to, I'll have to work on it tomorrow a little bit, but... Hopefully. I want to get those icicles hanging up yet. Those are my favorite Christmas lights. The icicles that hang down. You done, little buddy? Just the big guys are left. And that's it for tonight, everybody. It's time to crawl into bed and cozy up. Start to get a little chiller, you're out. Can't wait to climb under the covers and fall fast asleep. I'll see you right here tomorrow morning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you tomorrow.